Hello again, we left it on flight mode. So we made a new flight mode that will allow us to fly and out of the flight mode we will not be able to fly. So this time we are going to override the um, move, forward, move forward part. So basically what we want is the normal character movement should not work when we are in flight mode. So this is something I gave to the character. So it's like, as the character moves, its speed increases, but when the character stops, then um, the character loses that gain speed power uh, or like the movement speed and goes back to the default. And when it moves, it increases again. Just something that you should not care about. Okay, this is actually the part we are going to override. So we want we don't want this part to be executed or if you want all together. I will remove this debugging line and I will go for something like this. If flight mode exclamation mark so if not in flight mode then just move normally else now we are gonna give our character the forward speed so as we did on the previous video we need to get the direction of the character so I will quickly copy that thing we had over here to get the character rotation Okay, where were we? Yep. So I got the direction, and all I'm gonna do right now is again copy this. And now instead of giving it an up vector, we are gonna get the direction, and it will just add to movement speed. But right now there's a difference. Now when we press W is just gonna get executed really 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 fast so all these will be added on um, on every tick because th that is how move forward works I guess so instead of doing this actually no we are overriding it so basically what will happen now is when I press W once it will just add 160 and that's it so in order to speed up I need to press W repeatedly in order to increase my speed however I just can turn this into something that is smooth just like how we fly it can, it can just work in, over time but right now let's just leave it this way so we are gonna add velocity towards our direction and the value will be 160 so let's see what's gonna happen now okay. and while I was waiting for the video to actually get prepared what I was doing was I actually decided to show some skeletal mesh basics so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the character into another character while we are in the flight mode so that way what's gonna happen is let me explain it this way normally when you think of it your character doesn't have wings and I don't think adding wings on the existing character is something practical so probably it will just be another character just the, using the same but with added wings so while we are passing to flight mode we will just change the character and give some animation to it like spawning animation so that it grows wings jumps up and then starts flying when we exit the mode we will just convert the character into its original state so it's compiled i press play and now i press g and it doesn't work guess why guess why what did we break so let's just see okay 
I remember now, we added the flight mode, I forgot to activate the flight mode. Okay, I activate the flight mode, I press G, nothing happens, nothing happens, okay, we broke something. So, let's just see it. When we press it once, it should go to flight mode, and I'm just going to add the debug line over there. Let me find a UE log. Got it. I get it. Place it over there. And I just wanted to write if flight mode. Remove it. And write flight mode activated. And that's just it. Let me see if there's something wrong. Waiting for the underlining to go away. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What is wrong? Yeah, the print phase. I just removed it. And, um, let's just try to debug it that way. And in the meanwhile, it's compiling. We will just see what's happening. So, say only fly when it's flight mode. I only say execute flight handler when in flight mode. And probably I don't need any other check. Maybe I can move something to the tick. Like, is flying, then do that. Probably when I pressed uh, the flight button, I just gave the character an is flying set. I don't know. So, it just didn't work. Let's go back. Compilation is successful. I'll turn the out log. I'm gonna press H. Set something. I missed it. I press G. It doesn't work. Okay, wait. H. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay. Okay. There was something over there. Actor height selected. Why? I didn't do something to actor high. Select none. Hmm. Interesting. Select none. Okay. Hmm. Play H. Stop. Okay. Guess what happened? I didn't bind the flight to any button. Yeah, that's what actually happened. Okay, that's so dumb. We just lost quite a lot of time now. Okay, I say H. Then, um, light mode activate. I said it, press compile. Good that we don't need to compile. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. No, stop. Come on. Okay, here is something going on. Probably since I added it, I didn't bind um, the movement in a proper way. So move forward probably is getting called all the time. I don't know why. Okay, yes, this is what happened. I pressed W and actually added a lot of forward movement speed. So let's just go back, try it again. I press H. It is getting a lot of um, movement speed added to it for some reason because it should not. So let's just go and see what actually happens over there, move forward, otherwise add 160, let's just add a debug line over there too, just to see if it's getting cold repeatedly even when we are not pressing the button. I don't think that's possible, but move forward. Okay, 
I am adding one over here and say default and say non flight mode and one flight mode. Compile. For some reason, the character just gets all that movement speed just when I press my button. This is checked there in the meanwhile. So when I activate flight mode, I just go into flight mode. And over there, nothing actually should happen. As long as I don't press G, flight handler should not execute itself. And when I call move forward, only then we should add the speed. But somehow I'm getting some speed from somewhere I don't know. Okay. Okay, as you see, the move forward function is getting called all the time. If you check the button left side, it says default and non-flight mode all the time so on every tick we actually are calling our move forward function so that's something i just learned and like if you guys want to do such things you'd as well just keep this in mind i don't know why it actually happens that way i need to delve a bit in order to get why it happens so for now let's just not do it with W button just to see that our thing works. So I will get rid of our current implementation. What I'm gonna do is I will just cut this part, add another one, and say void a free fly forward. Add all the content in there, <coughs> remove this part and add it over here as a function. I think I called it fly forward, if I'm not mistaken. Fly forward. Okay, let's just check it back. Okay, fly forward. Now all these should go away because you will actually see. Yes. So go and quickly compile and this time I am not forgetting to make a key bind. I'm gonna bind it to E and we'll think of another way to make it work. Maybe we can change the binding so that the W button is not bound to move forward function when flight mode is activated. I don't know if that is possible like changing those bindings midway maybe it's related to the character itself in the beginning so it just doesn't work but we just need to see okay i did it i'm going to content browser edit and e button normally these are done in another way but i'm just trying to earn time i can just go there and give some bindings but who the fuck cares okay fly forward compile and play now I activate the flight mode everything is good but I cannot move as you see I'm pressing W and S but I cannot move because I didn't change that line so I launch myself up upward and press E and I just need to press E repeatedly in order to do it so I just spam it and it gives me some forward but as I said if we change it to the other way around just like we did the flight then the flying or like moving forward part will be much smoother because on this one you just need to spam you can change the value but it will just give you a big burst which will not be realistic so this is the end of the video um on the next video i'm gonna do the skeletal mess stuff that i said 
see ya.